Hello students, welcome back to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve these two problems. So the first problem says that the pinion gear A rolls on the fixed gear rack B with an angular velocity of 4 radian per second. Determine the velocity of gear rack C. So it is said that this um, gear A is uh, revolving with an angular velocity of 4 radian per second and the gear rake b is fixed right so it is the this gear rake b is stationary so this means that the velocity of uh, this rake is zero so we are required to find um, the velocity of this gear rake c so let's draw the free, the free body diagram so let's say that the this circle represents that gear a and the, this point is the point which is in contact with gear rig B. So let's say that um, this point is in contact with gear rig um, with rig B. So uh, this point is stationary. So let's say that this this vector shows V B, which is actually zero. So this means that the point which is in contact with gear rig B is point B, and that point is stationary and the gear is revolving with an angular velocity of um, 4 radian per second and so we are required to find uh, the velocity of this gear rake c so let's say that this point is in contact with the gear rake c so we can say that if the gear is revolving uh, if the gear is having angular velocity in the counterclockwise direction so this means that uh, the gear will move uh, on the on the rake c in this direction so we will have the velocity of point c which is in contact with this gear rake uh, will be towards the left so we can say that we see is toward the left and this is that point c which is in contact with the uh, with the gear rake c so we are required to find this vc so now we can apply the relative velocity equation so which says that we b or we can say that we c is equal to v b plus the velocity of c relative to b so if we apply this equation in the horizontal direction so towards the right is our positive horizontal direction or we can say towards the right is a positive x if this is our positive x and positive y directions so as we can see that we see is towards the negative x in the negative direction so we will write that this is minus v c equals to v b is zero and the velocity of c relative to b so the velocity of c relative to b uh, will be uh, towards the left and we think for the velocity of c relative to b is if this point b is stationary and this point c is revolving in a circular path about that point b so since the gear is revolving in this direction so the velocity of c relative to b will be towards the left as well so we can say that the velocity of c relative to b is in this direction and the, the magnitude of this velocity will be equal to since we think that the center about which this point c is revolving is point b so for velocity of c relative to b the center of the circle is b and we think that this point c is revolving about that point b in a circular path so then the radius of that circular path about uh, which this point c is revolving about point b is this which is the diameter of this gear so we can say that the velocity of c relative to b magnitude will be equal to the dia of the of the gear which is 2 times 0 0.3 times uh, the omega since we know that the velocity is always r omega so velocity of c relative to b will be this will be the radius of that circle about which uh, this point c is revolving uh, times the omega of the gear so this means that velocity of c relative to b is basically 0 0.c omega so here we will put that velocity of c relative to b is in the negative uh, x direction so this is z minus 0 0.6 omega so now we can say that minus vc is equal to minus 0 0.6 omega and we can 
uh, cut this negative sign that will cancel out and we are given omega so omega is 4 so this is basically 2.4 uh, feet per second so we see since 0.6 is in feet right so the diameter and the radius of the gear is in feet so the velocity of c is 2.4 feet per second and it is in the uh, negative x direction similarly we can find this velocity of c by just applying um, so this is the solution of this particular problem now the next problem says that the pinion gear rolls on the gear rakes if b is moving to the right at 8 feet per second now the velocity of this gear rake b is 8 feet per second it's not equals to zero so now we we will uh, redefine all the velocities according to this statement so the velocity of b is now we can say that the velocity of b is now 8 feet per second and c is moving to the left at 4 feet per second so now velocity of c is given so we can say that the velocity of c is now let me write it here velocity of c is now 4 feet per second to the left and it is said that determine the angular velocity of the pinion gear and the velocity of its center so now let's erase this so we are required to find the angular velocity of this gear a and we are required to determine the, uh, the velocity of its center a so this is the center a so we are required to find the velocity of center a so now as we can see that um, this point b which is in contact with this uh, gear rake b is moving towards the left with a is moving towards the light right with the velocity of eight feet per second and this point c is moving towards the left with the velocity of four feet per second so this means that um, this point a will move towards the right as well since this velocity is greater than this velocity so the overall result will be towards the right so we can say that the velocity of a will be towards the right let me raise this first right so We can say that uh, velocity of b towards the right is the positive so we can say that the velocity of b is equal to velocity of c plus the velocity of b relative to c so now the velocity of b is towards the right so we can say that this is plus 8 velocity of c is towards the the left so that is negative minus 4 and the velocity of b relative to c so now the velocity of b relative to c will be so for the velocity of b relative to c we will think that this point c is stationary and this point b is revolving about this point c in a circle of this much radius so we think that this point b is revolving about this point c in a circular path like this that the velocity of b relative to c is also towards the right so if the point b is moving towards the right the velocity of b relative to c will always be uh, towards the right as well since if i join this c and b so since this is the radius of that circle about which um, this point b is revolving in a circle so velocity of b relative to c will always be perpendicular to that radial line of the circle so we can say that the velocity of b relative to c is towards the right and again we can say that the velocity of b relative to c will have a magnitude of omega omega of the gear a times the radius of that circle so the radius of the circle about which this point b is revolving is the diameter right we think that this point b is revolving about point c and point c is the center of that circle so the radius will be from b to c or from c to b so let's say this is from c to b so now omega is unknown and the radius this radius is 2 times 0 0.3 which is 0 0.6 so this is basically 0 0.6 omega so this is 0 0.6 omega so now we say that uh, the velocity of b relative to c is towards the right so that is positive so i will write this is plus 0 0.6 omega so we can say that um, if I bring this minus 4 to the other side, so it will become positive. So we can say that 0 0.6 omega is equal to 
and omega is equal to 12 divided by 0 0.6 so 12 divided by 0 0.6 this gives us 20 so omega is equal to 20 radian per second and omega is uh, in the counterclockwise direction so now after finding the angular velocity of this pinion gear e um, we are required to find the velocity of the center of this pinion gear e so for velocity of e we can write that v a is equal to the velocity of b plus the velocity of a relative to b or we can say the equation uh, with respect to c as well so we can say velocity of a equals to velocity of c plus velocity of um, a relative to c so velocity of a equals to velocity of b plus velocity of a relative to b so now since we have assumed that the velocity of a is towards the right is positive so and positive axis towards the right so we will write that this is plus v a v b is towards the right as well and its magnitude is eight feet per second so we will write that this is plus eight and the velocity of a relative to b so since the whole gear is revolving in the counterclockwise direction so the velocity of a relative to b is always due to the angular velocity uh, so if the gear is revolving in on this direction so this means that uh, the velocity of a relative to b must be in this direction and for the velocity of a relative to b we think that uh, this point a is revolving in a circle whose center is this point b so for velocity of a relative to b we think that this point b is stationary and this point a is revolving in a circle about this point b and the velocity of a relative to b will always be tangent to that uh, circle about which it is rotating uh, about this point b so since this gear is revolving uh, is having angular velocity in this direction so the velocity of a relative to b will be in this direction so we can say that the velocity of a relative to b will always be in the direction of the omega so if the omega is like this so the velocity of a relative to b will be in this direction so we can say that the velocity of a relative to b is towards the left so we can say and we can find the velocity of a relative to b magnitude by applying that r omega r omega r and the radius for the velocity of a relative to b will be r a b the distance between point a and b will be the radius so the omega of the gear which is 20 and r a b is the radius of the pinion which is 0 0.3 and since it is in the negative x towards the left so that is negative so minus uh, 20 into 0 0.3 so 20 into 0 0.3 so this gives us 8 minus 20 into 0 0.3 this gives me 2 so this is plus 2 feet Per second the velocity of the center of the pinion gear a so this is how we can find uh, the velocity of the center and the omega of the pinion gear if the velocity of point b and point c is given so i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comments if this helps in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if you are here for the first time that will help to promote my channel